So this video is about the difference between plastic mouthpieces and metal mouthpieces. For many years I used to have difficulties with silver mouthpieces uh, getting what I thought was pressure marks um, and I also had skin cells coming off on the mouthpiece and I just thought that was down to the extra grip that you get with silver plating. Now for a lot of my time playing the trumpet I've used gold plated mouthpieces because I was on manettes uh, and on cornet I was on Dennis Wick and Dennis Wick mouthpieces were traditionally in gold so it was less of an issue but I did do a test and I am actually allergic to gold plating slightly as well um, not to the same extent as silver but I think it's the nickel that's in the in the plating that causes the issue so I decided to try plastic mouthpieces the first one I tried was from Austin Custom Brass which is an acrylic mouthpiece and that really is a superb thing because it just has a very similar sounds to metal mouthpiece from what I can tell. But I, I thought it would be interesting to compare plastic to metal. The claim that some people make is that plastic ones sound a bit darker than metal ones. So I have got two uh, Warburton mouthpieces uh, made from uh, there are, it's a 1BC for cornet, so we're doing cornet test here. And uh, this is the plastic one, which is Lexan, which is another name, trade name for Perspex. And I also have one made from brass. They're identical sizes, and I'm using them on the same metal back bore, which is an 8 star. So, I started off by recording the same tune on each mouthpiece to see if I could detect any difference. Well, here is the comparison, and I decided to play the first exercise in the Gisondi Bach for Trumpet book, which is etudes based on tunes from Bach. So, first of all, here it is on plastic. And now you can hear the same exercise. This is uh, exercise one from Gisondi back, back for Trumpet Etude Book. And this is it on a metal mouthpiece. Now, to me, behind the instrument, the plastic one does feel a little bit darker. Uh, but I decided I would investigate this further, so I recorded a middle C in Audacity, which is audio recording software, and I looked at a spectrogram generated within Audacity. And if you look at the video, you can see that there is not a lot of difference in the intensity of the partials within that note. Um, that I could detect within that. So I decided to take this a bit further and uh, I tried a spectrum analyzer. If you look at this video, you can see 
that the plastic has a little bit less than the metal mouthpiece in the mid-range of partials between 2 and 5 kilohertz and it also has a little bit less in the upper range so the plastic is producing less upper register and mid register sound so it will be darker uh, the sound will be darker because those partials are suppressed um, you could compensate for this by choosing a shallower cup which would boost the upper partials um, but with the Warburton having a slightly darker tone I think that will help it to merge a bit better with some of the bigger Dennis Wick mouthpieces um, well, I've got to wait and see how that works as well as, as far as blending is concerned but I think this settles the argument but certainly Lexan mouthpieces are going to be darker than brass I'm not able to test an acrylic because I don't have an acrylic mouthpiece obviously of the same type the same size um, acrylic does feel harder to me and it does feel more like how I would expect metal to respond but I, I think this settles the argument uh, certainly between Lexan and uh, Brass and I hope you have found this informative <laughs>